For a second, imagine that you are a tourist in London which is filled with expensive life and rich history. Walking around the capital of England, you will see sites such as Buckingham Palace, Tower of London, beautiful London Eye. This small part of the attractions perpetuate the wonderful atmosphere of the city. But the most interesting thing is that walking along the streets of London, there is a high probability that you will walk around the property of a typical British family, personifying the old monetary power. This family owns 50% of the prestigious Mayfair area, including the Baymont Hotel and the Gagassian Galleries. In addition, their influence extends to 300 acres of the affluent Belgravia region. The influence of this family is already astonishing, but like it or not, this family has had that influence for over 1,000 years. Today in this video, you will learn the story of their success and how they managed to keep their power for over 1,000 years. The lineage of the Grosvenor family can be traced back almost 1,000 years when Gilbert Le Grosvenor arrived in England with William the Conqueror. Over the next 600 years, the family increased its land holdings, finances, and status. Invested in coal, stone, and lead mines in the 1580s in Denbighshire and Flintshire. In 1677, the meadows, marshes, and pastures west of the city of London passed to the family on the marriage of Sir Thomas Grosvenor to Mary Davies. Over the following centuries, Grosvenor developed these lands and used the knowledge and experience gained in the process to further develop the 18th century was a period of rapid growth for London, which, after the plague of 1665 and the Great Fire of 1666, was rebuilt on a grander scale. The development of the Grosvenor area began in 1720. A network of wide straight streets was created, largely preserved to this day. Merchants such as lace makers, candle peddlers, and carriage makers gradually gave way to new professions and fashion stores that catered to the needs and tastes of new generations. After the end of the Napoleonic Wars in 1815, the pace of London's expansion accelerated exponentially, and the city's population growth saw it become the largest in the world by the end of the century. In the 1820s, Robert Grosvenor, who became the first Marquess of Westminster in 1831, took advantage of the opportunity to develop land southwest of Mayfair between Hyde Park and the River Thames. On the southern edge of the district, swampy land described by the American writer Edgar Allan Poe as barren, stinking wet refuse, has been reclaimed using soil excavated from the construction of London's Saint, Catherine's Dock. Although Grosvenor's shares in Pimlico were sold in the early 1950s, Belgravia remains part of our London estate. Together with Mayfair, it boasts over 1,500 listed buildings, 50 of which are grade one buildings, which are recognized and protected for their outstanding architectural and historical merit. In the late 19th century, under the patronage of the first Duke of Westminster, homes were built for nearly 4,000 working class Londoners in nine places, including Brown Street and Hart Street, today known as Brown Heart Gardens. Damage from the heavy bombing of the city of London during World War prompted many businesses to move west with temporary office permits that finally expired in the early 1990s when many of Mayfair's buildings were returned to residential use. During the Edwardian years, London continued to grow, both economically and physically, as new hotels, department stores, and theaters sprang up throughout the West End. In the UK, Grosvenor's London properties have been further developed with the construction of new residential and office buildings. Drawing on the experience of Canada, where several shopping centers had been built, Grosvenor completed one of the UK's first covered shopping centers in the heart of Chester City in 1965. Grosvenor stands as an organization that continues to be associated with world-class urban real estate, developing, managing, and investing in real estate in many of the world's leading cities of the world. In addition to property, Grosvenor founded the Wheat Sheaf Group. The descendants of Alexander Sergeyevich Pushkin live in England. One of them is the poet's great-great-grandson, the seventh Duke of Westminster Hugh Richard Louis Grosvenor. The history of the flow of hatred towards the Duke occurred quite recently, in the spring of 2020. British billionaire Hugh Grosvenor has donated 14.4 million euros, pest 12.5 million to the fight against coronavirus in the UK. Thank you was not said to him, but a wave of hatred rose immediately. A live radio host ridiculed the Duke for a small sum, reminded radio listeners that the wealth of the Grosvenor family is 1,000 times greater than the donation. At the moment, in addition to real estate, this richest family in London owns 1. Oak 
and 37th Avenue, new townhouse project from Gros Venor in Cinemark. Two, Apricity, the inclusion of social enterprises, local enterprises, and SMEs in the supply chain, partnering with tenants who can enhance our social impact. Three, Bridge Investment Group, office joint venture, a value, added investment vehicle focused on Class A office properties in high-growth U.S. cities. Four, empowerment of local communities to address the climate emergency, maximizing the impact of philanthropy. Five, Gros Venor Tower, a 237-unit residential building in North Bethesda, purchased through our multifamily investment program, and dozens of different projects around the world. On this wonderful note, I conclude my story about one of the most influential families in London, which every year for more than 1,000 years increases its material condition and makes the city of London what it is today.